Hi, this is Peter King at Flying Like the Pros, and this month's wing tip is about black hole approaches. We're going to set up the scenario with a night VFR arrival in the San Luis Obispo. You can see the airport there off in the distance, and we'll zoom in as we begin our VFR descent. Now, as we watch the airport, you can see that it slowly starts to disappear as if it's being eaten by a black hole. What the heck's going on? Well, let's switch to night vision, and you can see we're actually descending into the terrain. Now, this black hole phenomenon has been studied quite a bit. A couple of engineers at Boeing ran a number of simulations, and they discovered something very interesting. When the airport environment comes into view, pilots tend to fixate on the angle of what they're looking at and they maintain this as a constant angle throughout their descent. And what happens is they tend to descend along a curved path rather than a straight path straight to the runway. And if there's terrain in the way, that curved path can take them right into the terrain, eventually obscuring their view, causing that black hole illusion. So we have a number of pro tips that we'd like to recommend. The first is, Simply fly to the airport and then descend to enter the pattern from above. By staying high above the known terrain, you can stay clear of it, get to the airport, and then start your descent to enter the pattern. Pro tip number two is, why not fly an instrument approach? And in fact, you don't have to do this in IFR. You can simply reference the chart if you desire on your VFR arrival. Here, San Luis Obispo has a great approach, the RNAV Runway 29. And if we're coming in from the east, we can proceed direct to CADAB and then inbound on the final approach course. And this allows us to reference the charted minimum altitudes to stay above the terrain. Pro tip number three is reference the VASI or the PAPI. These visual glide slope indicators will keep you above terrain. But I've got a caution for you. The VASI is good only out to four nautical miles. Beyond that, the VASI is not going to protect you from terrain. So if you're on a long final and you pick up the VASI 10 miles out, be careful on that descent because it's not guaranteed to keep you above obstacles until you get within four nautical miles. So those are our pro tips. Fly to the airport and enter the pattern from above or fly an instrument approach procedure. And finally, once you get to the airport environment, reference the VASI or the PATH.